I started a new job today and feeling pretty good about it. It is very similar to what I was doing before and I feel quite qualified and I am 100% sure that I can do a, a great job at this job and I look forward to being the very best that I can be there. And. Uh, uh, yeah, there's just a few little differences that that uh, may actually work out to be better than my last job. Um, things that are, you know, things are always different from one job to the next, but I think I'm in the right place. And I think that my coworkers are going to be a great support team and a good little social circle. We'll see, but it'll be good to be part of something in my new place and to be known by people <laughs> and to be able to assist customers and uh, yeah provide great service because that makes me feel good um, there are some the differences included in well I don't know if it's really different but one thing I noticed is uh, having been poor myself for many years where um, food is very precious and valued, uh, I have a really hard time pretending to have never been poor in order to come across as the right sort of income bracket for a job. Like... Um, you know, when stuff has a shelf life and then they throw it out. I can't, I can't fathom that. And I have a, I can't just let, let something go like that. So, yeah, I, I ate the food. <laughs> I ate the food. <laughs> I didn't want it to get thrown out. <laughs> I, um, you know, when I'm told, you know, I can have a fresh one. But if they're going to throw out the old one, then I'm going to eat the old one so it doesn't get thrown out. And I know that wealthier people like me don't think twice about that. They waste like no tomorrow. But I um, I just can't. And it's really, really hard for me to pretend to be um, a wealthier, more disposing person, a person who disposes. And I, I know that com that can come off badly because obviously I'm not just there for the free coffee and snacks, you know. <laughs> but it has been pointed out to me in the past uh, that it, it doesn't look good that um, I will avail myself of the free food at every opportunity. It's just really hard not to because I have it so so deeply into my core that when there's something on offer for nothing, you gotta take it. You gotta take all of that free stuff you can get because you're gonna need it later, you know? Life has never been, well, it was when I was a kid, but ever since then, ever since I was 16, life hasn't been like that. It's funny because, um, ouch. Like, I grew up um, in the financial bracket whereby if something wore out or broke down, we replaced it. And we didn't buy El Cheapo, we bought the mid-range thing. I was told that that's, what, that's the best thing to buy. You get the mid-range thing. Um, but then ever since that, pardon me, um... And I have learned the value of the dollar. <laughs> and you don't waste. And you don't throw out the scraps. And you eat every last Brussels sprout. And, you know, you mop up the sauce on your plate. And you don't waste. You scrape every little tidbit of peanut butter out of the jar. And you eat all your bread heels. And you trim off the slimy black bits off the vegetables and you eat what's left of it that's good, you know. And you throw the slimy bits on the compost heap, you know, to 
nourish next year's vegetables. That's the kind of person I am. I can't stand the idea of waste. I could never work in a restaurant or a fast food place where they throw stuff out as much as they sell it because it's all about the dollar, not about... Well, it is for me too, sure. It's about the dollar. Isn't that contradictory? I don't know that I could ever learn to be wealthy. <laughs> the job I had before my last one, I was supposed to not be poor. I was supposed to get it into my head that I was a money earner and start living like a wealthier person. Um, I didn't really get a chance to see that through because I didn't end up staying. Uh, they decided not to offer me a full-time position after my three-month trial. Uh, and I decided I couldn't do this job. And I'm not that kind of person, you know. I'm not that plastic, phony, polished person. So it looks like I'm going to get to be the best of me in this new position. Um, and that I can absolutely be real. I don't even really have to wear lipstick if I don't want, you know. My boss wasn't wearing lipstick today. She was very real, you know. That's good. I like a job where I can be real, but also be prim and polite and well-mannered and courteous and kind and helpful. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, thumbs up for me. Wish me luck. <laughs>